first talk to me what's the deal what's going on with you y'all okay it's your girl mo and we are here for some what's up with the planets we here for some planet talk in regards to venus being in the sign of sagittarius november 10th until december 8th thank you guys for all the continued support bookings like shares comments subscribes recommendations tips all that i really appreciate it every time i tell y'all thank you it made me smile because y'all be making me smile y'all like y'all Y'all, y'all be out here with the support. It's still, <laughs> it's wild to me. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't know me. <laughs> y'all don't know me, and y'all decide, you know, watch, support, recommend me to other folks. That's crazy. I appreciate it. So, Earth Sign, some of y'all could be feeling very grateful, gratitude ish during this transit. Just feeling very grateful. Uh, to book a personal tarot reading with me, my pricing and my contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribe to the channel. What to keep me in y'all? Rotation. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate that. Of course. All right. Of course I do. Um, so uh y'all know how these readings go. You can have sun or Venus in an earth sign or one of the earth sign houses, second, sixth, and the tenth. And some messages in here can definitely resonate with you. What we're going to do is pull one weekly oracle message card to see what your overall energy is over these next few weeks. And then we're going to do a spread. All right. Hold on. Let me check which deck I want to use. Yeah. Spirit guys, oh, Venus and Sagittarius is going to urge you to uh, take certain risks, get adventurous as it relates to self-fulfillment, self-care, beauty, love, you. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting our earth signs November 10th until, okay, November 10th until, shoot, I'm not going to put it down because I already talked about this shit in the fire sign reading, okay, now is some of y'all, is there a karmic fire sign around you? Maybe. But you need to be careful. Earth sounds about a karmic partner being somewhere in the vicinity. Spirit guys, what's going on? Hold on. What's uh? How's this Venus in Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs? November tenth until December eighth in the year twenty twenty two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, booty up. y'all let me pick okay every scam isn't financial so some of y'all need to be careful about somebody here uh, scamming you out of your time your effort your energy but also your money okay but this is for me being taken advantage of some of y'all need to be careful about that during this transit all right that's why it's important for you to set these the boundaries, okay? Some of y'all, it's important for you to set boundaries because there could be a situation around you where someone here is looking to take advantage of you, okay? Yeah, I'm here to catch you off guard, get you in a um, vulnerable position or something like that. Let's give you a quick little shuffle. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022? I don't know why I didn't just see what I think I saw. The deck kind of flipped. I did. I did. I did. I knew, girl, I knew I saw it, bitch. Okay. And I was I was happy for a minute. Now, it's on the bottom of the deck, so I'm still rooting for you. I'm still rooting for you. Hi, Taurus and Capricorn. Divine Feminine Empress. But there's, there's a problem. Ah, it's that man. So we got the Empress showing up. So some of y'all could most definitely have Venus in an earth sign, okay? But I want you to look at Shorty on the bottom. Devil card and the King of Wands. Now, earth sign women, some of y'all, that could be a fellow earth sign man. King of Wands. Or an, uh, ugh. Or a uh, toxic fire sign, masculine energy, heavy on the Aries. Any fire sign, though, but two of Wands is showing up. So it could be an Aries individual, Okay. Jesus, look at it. Look at the B and the S, no T, kid. All right, Queen of Pentacles. It's that trash because you already know. Fuck away from me. All right, Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now we got a problem because we got two 
earth sign feminine energies out here, but we have the devil. So one or the other is toxic. Some of y'all need to be careful about fucking with somebody who is still attached to a toxic person, a karmic partner. All right. Five of swords. They ain't being honest with you about how they still diddling and daddling. <laughs> diddling and daddling. How they still dealing with this person. Heavy on the air. Aquarius is strong, but so is Libra. Heavy on the fellow earth. Capricorn is out here. Taurus is out here. Um, heavy on the fire. Um, Aries is out here strong. So is Sagittarius. All right. Some of y'all need to be careful about that. Some uh, Somebody, like I said, still dealing with someone with the five of swords. They're not telling you the complete truth about what things are like between them and this person. Okay. Some of y'all need to be careful about somebody here wanting to be baby. I ain't sending no niggas that I ain't birthed. Okay. Some of y'all, <coughs> I know. <coughs> I know. <coughs> that was a little harsh. I am so sorry, girl. I'm calling. Ain't nobody around me. <coughs> but, Jesus. How dare they take my breath, my breath away like that? I said what I said, though. I can't take it back. Some of y'all need to be careful about someone dealing with you. Fire signs had this devil card for what you can do for them, um, for their own selfish reasons. Such reasons. Some of y'all need to be careful about someone like this. That's why it's important for you to have these boundaries, okay? Yeah. Whoo. Nah. <laughs> I say that because these this owls are in these car and we saw eight of we saw eight of wands. Y'all didn't see it, but I saw a high priestess. Hold on, y'all want me to show y'all? Because I don't ever want nobody to be like, are you telling the truth? Bitch, shut up. Why would I lie to y'all? Come on. High Priestess, star, uh, star card, all right? Some of y'all are receiving signs, symbols, and synchronicities about somebody here, um, you know, just being trash. Uh, being trash, um, not being honest about what they want from you. Heavy on the air, heavy on the fellow earth, heavy on the fire. Here, guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all earth signs November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022? Damn, that bewitch shit going on. Ah, nose itching. Queen of Cups. High Priestess. Some of y'all are very intuitive, girl. You can't lie. All right. Some of y'all could have Venus in a water sign. Like I said, either you got Venus in an earth sign or Venus in a water sign. I say that because the Queen of Cups is coming out beside the Empress. High Priestess. Star card. The Lovers. Oh. <gasps> Some of y'all could be in a connection with someone. It could be um, with a water sign, a water sign, a fellow earth sign, or an air sign individual, high priestess, star card, and lovers. Now, I'm really picky about saying this, but this for me is like, you know, it's giving a little bit of soulmate energy, star card, and the lovers. You, you, you do mesh very well with this person. It's like chocolate and... Y'all look funny, okay? It's like chocolate and caramel. It go well together, all right? You go well together with someone, earth signs. Like I said, specifically a water sign or an air sign individual or a fellow earth sign individual. Oh! That's not really weird. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies, uh, there is another divine feminine energy outside of you who I feel like, I don't know, maybe you dealt with her. Maybe you dated her. Hey, girl, come in. Oh, no, not like that. <laughs> not like that, girl. No, they didn't. Okay. But it's like there could be a certain uh, feminine energy that maybe you dealt with in the past, or there's a feminine energy outside you who has feelings for you, okay? Who is attracted to you sexually, though. I don't know if she is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if she like girls or you like girls, okay? But I do see another feminine energy that is definitely physically attracted to you, heavy on the water, heavy on the air. What could be a fellow earth sign? Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all earth signs? November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022. Five of Cups, excuse me, with the Two of Swords. Ooh. Some of y'all could be in a new connection and you realize somebody that you was fucking with. Jesus. Being a new connection and realizing that somebody that you decided to move on from, 
Wow. So this was out here the entire time? Some of y'all feel this way in regards to a water sign or air sign individual, or you have moved on with a water sign or air sign individual. It's like being with somebody new makes you realize just how trash someone was previously. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So guys, how is this Venus in Sagittarius transit affecting? Our Earth signs, November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022. Also, I, you know, girl, I'm about to call, I'm about to point them out. Point them out. I'm about to call, I'm about to call somebody T, okay? Don't lose the faith. We'll talk about that in a minute. Divine Feminine. Um, there could be, remember that man that came out, King of Wands? There could be someone here that, like I said, you don't fuck with no more. He went to some other, uh, stop. He started dealing with another person, right? And I feel like he's not happy where he at. Divine Feminine, I'm talking to you. Divine Masculine, I'm talking to you. Definitely Divine Masculine, okay? King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Some of y'all could be either dealing with someone new and you realize it's how trash the previous person was or somebody um, that you moved on from is dealing with somebody new and they're realizing maybe how trash... <laughs> How trash you were, but I don't think so. But maybe I say that because the Empress card is out here, and this is a Taurus energy, so this could most definitely be you. Okay, either they realizing how trash you were, or how trash the new person is. Don't shoot the messenger. All right. So we got the strength card showing up. Like I said earlier, don't lose the faith. Some of y'all need to be careful about um dropping your faith, like some change or some shit. Okay, this for me is like um giving up. Okay. <clears throat> Being pessimistic, Patty, around this bitch. Men, what the fuck is this? <clears throat> Listen, men, some of y'all need to be careful about making a bad business move. King of Pentacles, Emperor Card, Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. This is um, uh, quitting a job too fast, um, accepting a job too fast, or going into business with someone maybe too fast, or just in general. All right, five of wands just don't create a lot of problems for you. I'm seeing this with a water sign or an air sign individual, maybe a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio. <clears throat> yeah, for some of y'all, I see a questionable air sign or fire sign person around you. This could be someone here at your job. All right, or just in general. Spirit guys, some of y'all, this is a supervisor. Like, this is your manager, and you don't trust that bitch. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022? Mm -mm, too many. Two of Cups with the Sun card. Like I said, some of y'all could be in a new connection. And you and you know, girl, you're in good hands. So let's just say that. I don't know. Some of y'all got all state insurance or some shit like that. Some of y'all might have a family member that um makes it public that they're separating from someone. Sun card, King of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Um, I see this going on heavy with a water sign or an air sign individual. Really? Is that it? Hold on. Spirit gods. How is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022? Nine of Swords with the Four of Wands. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. -E 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 some of y'all need to be careful about thinking that you're not going to find a favorable connection just because you dealt with some garbage, okay? Like, we're all going to deal with a trash bin here and there. We just have to treat them accordingly. But some of y'all need to be careful about that kind of, like, traumatizing you. Like, you feel like, I'll never find somebody to love me. Girl, you are being very dramatic right now. Like, cut it out. 
cut it, okay? So you need to be careful about doing that. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with the Empress. It's like, are you serious? Somebody gonna want to snatch your ass up. You just gotta be selective and or picky about who you let that person be. All right, because I, I like nothing's wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with you. All right. Now, if you know you need to get your shit together, then focus on that instead of a relationship. But if you know, like, hey, girl, like you got your shit together. <laughs> I'm prime real estate, then don't be scared about, you know, whether or not you'll find, you'll be in a good connection just because somebody that you dealt with before was of the garbage, yo, all right? Don't make me say that. I'm going to say it. It ain't like that person was a prize. Some of y'all that pertains to a water sign or an air sign individual, maybe a fire sign individual. Like, girl, you over here sweating over that? Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022? Judgment. Do the right thing. That's what you're being urged to do during this transit. Emperor strength card and the judgment with the eight of cups. Some of y'all are being urged to turn your back on something. What is it? A way of doing things or a connection. Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Two of Wands. You at that fork in the road. You at that fork in the road to where you're being urged on, you know, girl, you're going to go left or right. Left don't look like it's all that, though. I'm going to just be real with you, okay? Like I said, some of y'all being urged to turn your back on something if you haven't already. Past connection or a certain direction that you wanted to go in in the past. Heavy on the water. Scorpio is strong, so is Pisces. Cancer is out here as well. Heavy on the fire, Aries, Leo. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs? November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022. Six of Pentacles with the King of Swords. So Six of Pentacles is you, Two of Cups. Some of y'all did the right thing in severing a certain connection here with a water sign or an air sign individual. Um, heavy on the Cancer, heavy on the Scorpio, heavy on the Aquarius, the Libra, and the Gemini. All right. Mm, mm. Interessante indeed. This is gonna sound real weird, kid. For some of y'all, there's someone here that you separated from that's watching you, and whoever they with could be watching you too. How they know about you? Unless they done went through their phone and they didn't see you in location, his recent searches. Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Now, some of y'all just could just be looking for a job. Ace of Pentacles and the uh, Page of Swords, or you're researching a, a big purchase. Um, furniture, car, travel, okay? Some of y'all, is a job. Um, or a contract. Some of y'all are searching uh, contracts. It could be in regards to insurance, a job. I see somebody that you're related to watching you. <laughs> heavy on the water, heavy on the fire, a little bit of air. Like, watching you do your thing. Like, some of y'all definitely, I don't want to say that. It's like some of y'all definitely have a lot of people outside you who are interested in what you're doing during this time. Excuse you. What's this? What's this? Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Sagittarius transit affecting all Earth signs? November 10th until December 8th in the year 2022. Three of Wands. Mystic is in the building. Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Three of Wands. I see somebody here knows that they're not happy with someone. Heavy on the water. 
uh water air and fire specifically scorpio gemini aries cancer uh leo somebody here knows that they're not happy with someone it stresses them out nine of swords they just want to be done with it um with the two of cups for some reason they keep pushing through with this shit why high priestess four of cups and the ace of cups queen of pentacles ladies there's a fire sign or a water sign individual or fellow earth sign individual who secretly still thinks about you, still wonders about you, still cares about you. Um, but this person probably involved with somebody else or you're involved with somebody else. Someone has moved on, okay, or moved on. All right, and someone is still thinking about them. Judgment, Six of Pentacles, and the Earth, uh, in the Three of Wands, uh, Earth sign, specifically Virgo. Um, take care of your financial responsibilities. This to me is anything that you know that you need to pay off, um, pay for, take care of financially. Do that, all right? Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, you're just going to keep stressing about it and procrastinating on it. If you want to go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Knock it out, all right? Earth signs or Venus and Earth signs because Venus is out here. That was your uh, Venus and Sagittarius transit reading. What's up with the planets? Uh, remember, your sun or your Venus could be in an Earth sign or one of the Earth sign houses. And some messages in here can definitely resonate with you. Like the video. Leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. My pricing and my contact information to book a personal reading with me will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. I'm going to talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>